about a meeting I had in this city uh, just after I was elected vice president 10 years ago. I'm thinking that Al Gore is the luckiest vice president in the history of our republic. Put this nightmare behind us, and the only way it's going to be able to put this nightmare behind us is we're going to do what's in the best interest of the country, and that is to resign. The issue is no longer in his hands. The issue is now before the Congress of the United States. And the, and the question before the House, if you will, is will they do their duty? The Constitution is very clear. They have responsibility to uphold the laws of this land. In the judgment of an independent counsel appointed by the Attorney General of the United States, the Commander-in-Chief, Head of State, Chief Executive has broken the law. They now must vote on that or they're not fulfilling their responsibilities to the Constitution and the American people. having the guts that you're having. We're in a moral crisis, and that moral crisis is reflected in character, the lack of thereof. If this president lied under oath before a grand jury, if this president obstructed justice, if this president lied to the American people with the intention to deceive, then, and we don't do anything about it, that is the beginning of the end of the world.